is Ryan with Case Escape, and I'm going to show you how to take an image from your customer's phone and prepare it for printing. So the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to be at your booth. You're going to have a customer come up. They're going to want to get a custom phone case. They're going to want it right here, right now. So time is of the essence here. And the first thing you're going to have them do is you're going to have them locate the photo that they want on their phone, and you're going to have them email it to you. So give them your email address or type it in onto their phone for them. Um, I recommend typing it in. That way there's no typos, anything like that. And so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to have them put in the subject line of the email the device type that they want, here iPhone 5, and the type of finish that they want, matte finish. And so once you receive the image in your inbox from your customer, you're going to go ahead and click on that. And then you'll see the image pops up right here in the email body. And what you're going to do, you're going to right click on the image, hit save as, and you're going to want to save this as your customer name, their device type, and the type of finish they want on their case. And you're going to save that to your desktop. Hit save. You can go ahead and minimize your email as you will not need it any longer in this process. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to locate where you have um, your iPhone 5 template for Adobe Photoshop. And we will provide you with the templates for all of these devices. And so you're going to go ahead and double click on the appropriate template, in this case iPhone 5 it will open up in Adobe Photoshop. Now from here, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to File and click Place. This will bring up a window in which you need to select which image you want to place onto our printing template. And so you're going to click to the desktop you're going to locate the image that you want. In this case, customer name is Ryan Robinson. And so just confirm that's on iPhone 5. Hit place. Now you'll see that this image just plops right down into the middle of your template. And so from here, the that needs to occur in order to get it looking good for printing. If you were to leave it as is right now, you can see there would be a lot of white space on the top, a lot of white space on the bottom. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rotate this image because it looks like it would be much better laid out as landscape versus portrait. And so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to click once and I'm going to hold down and I'm going to drag around until it looks square and that will be at nine, negative 90 degree rotation and so you can see up at the top here this number changes you can alternatively click up here and type in negative 90 hit enter and it will rotate your image for you to the exact degree now, to size it properly onto the case, you're going to hold down the shift key and then click on one of the corners and drag it up until you can no longer see any of the black background. And then you're going to release. Now, go down to the opposite corner and again hold down shift click and drag until this image covers up the entirety of our template and release. Now, in order to place the file, you need to hit enter. And you can see here that where did your preview go? So in Photoshop, there are different what's called layers. And so there's a background layer, 
there's our little preview layer, and then there's the image you just placed. And so if I click on this image, and I drag it below the preview template, boom. You'll see this is the preview of how your customer's case is going to look from a flat perspective. And so now once you're here, you want to flip around your monitor, show your customer, get the thumbs up that this is good to go. And so if there's any types of revisions that need to occur, say for instance, you know, maybe they like this building down here at the bottom and they want that to be shown. And so you're going to use your arrow keys once you're selected on the image and you're going to just go ahead and arrow that over a few times, you know, until they are looking at a case that they truly want. And so I just made some changes here. I want to confirm that my entire template is still okay to print, that there's not going to be any white space on the case. And so the way I confirm that, I hit this little eyeball right here next to the preview template, and you'll see everything is covered too. So there's not going to be any white space on the case. And now we're good to go with this. The customer approves it. What you do is you go up to File, Save As, and you want to save it as Customer Name, Device Type, Finish Type, and then add Print Ready. You're going to again save this to your desktop. And very importantly, file format, you need to save this as a JPEG in order to print it. And then you click Save. For quality, always go up to the highest quality. Click OK. And you're good. You're going to go ahead and minimize Adobe Photoshop. You will no longer need it for this case. Now, once you're ready to print it out, go ahead and locate the image on your desktop that you want to print. Double click on it, and it'll bring it up into an image viewing application. And so I'm ready to print this out. I'm going to go to File, Print. I'm going to use the Case Escape presets for printing. Um, as outlined in your how-to manual. And so you click the appropriate preset, and then very importantly, before you hit print, you need to make sure that this is at 100% scale. What that means is that it's going to print the exact image size of the file, which we just spent a few minutes in Photoshop getting to the perfect size. And so this is 100%, then I'm going to hit print.